Welcome to the second Tiger Talk of the 2024-2025 school year. I'm Sam, and I'm here with my co-host, Nisa. And now that the school year has completely taken off, and our fall sports are for and play, let's see what updates we have on fall sports. What's up, y'all? I'm here with senior captain wide receiver, Jonel Serrano. And, you know, I got some questions for you about how the season's going to go. Okay. And, you know, y'all got a young squad, and um, last year y'all had, you know, more experience and everything. How do you feel you guys are this year? Um, I feel like despite having a, uh, you know, young squad, we have people like Gavin, uh, Ibiana, you know, just older guys. Well, I feel like it contains a young squad. Uh, and, yeah. I respect that. I respect that. And, you know, yeah, first game coming with a, you know, tough loss to Granby. How do you feel you guys going to bounce back? Um, you know, despite having a tough loss, I feel like, you know, it was a game to see whether we had talent and, you know, we had a couple of injuries and I feel like that's really why we lost the game. Um, I feel like, you know, next week we're going to come back. Uh, last year, I know we lost to Cromwell, you know, pretty tough loss, and then we go on and win nine games straight, you know. Um, I feel like this season is going to be the exact same way. I feel like we're the team that everybody has circled. And I genuinely believe that no team could beat us. Like, if we're healthy, no team could beat us. Um, we have people, you know, all over the board. We have talent all over the board, and no team in the conference can mess with us. So, yeah. I feel it. Thank you. I respect it. We're looking for a good season. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm here with junior volleyball star Aiden and Varela. You know, last year I came off a strong season. How do you think we're going to bounce back after losing you know, a lot of seniors? Um, We did come off of a strong season last year, but we've been here putting work in since the summer. And yeah, I think we're just gonna overall improve as a team. We're all getting stronger day by day. No, I respect that. Yeah, no, yeah. Starting off a low on a slow, slow end. How you think gonna bounce back? Um, like I said, we've been practicing a lot. We've been figuring out what our strengths and our weaknesses are. So I think we should be able to, you know, get back to where we were. Yeah, we'll be waiting to see that. Perfect. Thank you. What's up, y'all? I'm here with Junior Soccer Star Irma Allen. I know you have a young core this season. How you guys feel you guys are going to work out? I think we're going to do pretty good. We just got to get to know each other more. Oh. And, you know, with the new co-op, um, all three teams combined, you guys are, like, you guys are going to um, put together? Yeah, we just got to spend more time together. And my last question, you know, we had a, a rough string of past seasons <laughs> for the soccer team. How do you feel that you're going to help contribute? I think we're going to do better this season. win a couple of games. Thank you, Irma. Thank you guys, and we're looking forward to having a great season on all three sports. And make sure you guys pop out to tonight's game at Weaver High School for our football team's first home opener. In addition to fall sports, we are also kicking off this school year with the blood drive, taking place on Tuesday, October 3rd from 8.30 to 1.30 p.m. Here's Rihanna with more details about that blood drive. SMS Hay is having their first blood drive of the school year. However, tons of people are afraid of even giving blood. How about we ease your mind and talk about the benefits you may receive and benefits you may be giving. What's the process of donating? You will have to register for the drive. You must have a complete rapid pass in the morning of the blood drive. You will need your ID or something to verify your identity when you're donating. When you get there and the staff will give you a checkup, question you on your health history, probably to make sure you're, make sure you're eligible. If you're eligible, you will be taken to sit down and draw your blood. And when you're done, you get treated with refreshments like snacks and water. Where exactly the blood will go? After you donate your blood, it will be carefully pack packaged in a special temperature controlled containers. Then your donation is kept on ice before taken to the Red Cross Center for processing. Then the test tubes will distribute to the lab and get tested. If you're interested in helping during the blood drive, we have a group called the National Honor Society. Here's Amila with more information. My name is Amila and I'm part of SMSA's National Honor Society. We are volunteering at the American Red Cross Blood Drive here at SMSA. If you are at least 16 years old, any juniors and seniors would really be appreciated to help donate blood. Any volunteers would also be appreciated to help set up for the blood drive. I don't know about you guys, but after that I'm definitely donating blood on Tuesday. Now I know that some of our underclasses might not be too comfortable just yet this school year. So here's some word of advice from our seniors. Going into senior year, we was all nervous. Alyssa uh, someone around and talk to some seniors to give you some advice. Hey guys, it's Alyssa and today I am here with... Mila Aisha. Ashley Winningham. It's Amila. Jonah Serrano. What regrets do you have that you wish you did better during your freshman, sophomore, junior year? 
Um, some regrets I have is not turning in my work on time or not paying attention to class, goofing around with friends, being in the hallways, skipping class. Uh, one of the biggest things is, you know, stop procrastinating. You know, I used to go home and say I was going to do, you know, homework or whatever. Never did. And, like, it hits you in the long run. Some regrets I had as a lower classman was definitely not studying enough because I definitely had the opportunity to study more when I didn't have a busier schedule, so I regret that. I could say one thing that I regret the most is not getting myself involved, you know. Um, I just felt like I could have got myself involved more, you know. Like, coming into my sophomore year, even my junior year, there was barely people who even know me or knew me. You know, all they really know me for is football, and I feel like I definitely should have involved myself more. What advice would you give to lower classmen? advice I'll give to lower classmen is to turn in your work on time and actually do what you're supposed to come to school for and learn. Do what you gotta do and then go. Get out, go home, go to bed. Yeah. Um, I would say just get involved in as much stuff as you possibly could because you don't want to go back and be like, dang, I wish I could have did this or I wish I could have did that. So yeah, just get involved in everything you possibly can do. Some advice I would give lower classmen looking up to seniors is to definitely not procrastinate and get all your work done on time because it's a bad habit and you want to always get your work done on time. Try things that you've never done before, you know, um, get yourself involved in whatever, uh, get yourself out of your comfort zone because in the future it'll be like one of those things where, you know, you look back on and you're like, you know, I'm glad I did that. So, yeah. Very helpful advice from, me from some members of the 2025 graduating class. But that is it for this week's Tiger Talk. Thank you to all the people who made this possible and we'll see you next week. Welcome to the, tw oh my gosh, <laughs> I stutter, I stutter, yeah, yeah, yeah.